and paper. Look at me now. Oh, look at me now. Yeah. Fresh. What's going on, everybody? This is Like Butter, and welcome to my fifth episode of my Gears of War commentary. Um, this is a uh, process for those of you who don't know. Um, this is the s uh, one of the four maps that you get from the second map pack for the downloadable content for Gears of War 1. Um, the other three maps include um, Garden, which you've probably seen on my dual commentary. Uh, Bullet Marsh is the one that's at night where you can shoot the, uh, the electricity out. And uh, as I get an on-screen dub right there, that actually looked like a Superman, but I couldn't tell, but got torqued soon after. But um, And the last map is Subway. Um, so I decided to switch it up a little bit. Uh, I haven't seen too many. Uh, actually, I've never seen a commentary on this map. So uh, I had a pretty decent game. Um, I get a few stand-up shots in the beginning because uh, someone on the other team was actually grabbing boom shot. So I kind of had to save my teammates. Um, I rather, you know, down them and uh, you know get the headshot when he's getting up than go for a headshot and miss and let my teammates die. So um, I actually choked in the first two rounds uh, trying to shoot the guy at boom. Um, but as you can see, uh, him running down there that was a stupid idea. But like I said, he had boom, so I wanted to make sure he didn't get anywhere close to us because. Uh, Boom shot's a huge, huge, huge advantage in this game. So, um, trying to scoping out the guy at Torque right now. Um, I noticed on this map, uh, it's there's not too many good sniping spots. It's kind of a flat, kind of closed-in map. Um, you can see, and uh, I took my friend's kill right there. It's kind of a dick move, but <laughs> it's all in good fun. But um. There's not too many long hallways on this map that you can snipe down, so most people, you won't see very many um, clips from process and montages and stuff, and uh, I just got a message from Showbiz probably probably flaming me for downing him, but you know, it's a run and grab boom shot every round, and you know, what you gonna get, so, um, but basically I'm going sniper every round, uh, on the other side of this map is Torque Bow, as you can see that kid keeps grabbing it over and over, and Boom Shot is up those stairs right in front of us between the pipes. And uh, I think I get a really nice headshot right here. Yeah, sliding into cover, I get Cosmos. I'm um, actually cool at Cosmos. Um, he's on my friends list, but he was literally trying his ass off during this game. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So, uh... But this map is kind of, um, like I said, kind of hard to snipe on. But also, um, I, fi I find out that there's actually a huge advantage if you're using a high-definition TV, which I don't. So sometimes it's kind of hard to see people, especially COG, because I kind of blind it, like uh, blend in with some of the corners and stuff. But um, I don't think anything happens for a few minutes. So I'm going to just get into uh, a little bit about my channel. Um, I've had a lot of requests um, about getting a PVR. Um, I honestly don't know what YouTube has turned into. Um, it seems like these days uh, people honestly don't care what the gameplay is. I've seen montages that are completely terrible, like gameplay wise, and yet people are still liking them because of the quality. I'm trying to get it, like, trying to beat it into your guys' heads that it's not about the quality. I mean, I don't know when that came about. Uh, you know, pretty soon, you know, a new game's going to come out, and, you know, everyone's going to be caring about the quality. So I decided to, um, I'm actually going to talk about the PVR and another um, episode. I'm actually going to have a camera on me actually talking to you guys. So uh, some of you guys who've been following me for a while can see what I look like. Um, most of you probably already know what I look like because I used to put like pictures in my montages in certain parts and stuff like that. But um, it's more like a like a commentary because I feel like what what I'm gonna talk to you guys about is something kind of kind of personal. So I don't want to just sit there and let you hear my voice. I actually want to you know tell the camera what I'm talking about. Um, I was actually gonna hit bring on demo and my uh, my friend George. Um, we we're gonna do like you know three people like you know talking to the camera, do a little commentary today, but we couldn't find the camera, and then uh, I don't know, we just kind of procrastinated, and I had to come back because I was at Connecticut. I was in Connecticut 
uh, for the whole weekend again. So if some of my friends are watching this, uh, that's why I wasn't on for the week. So, but I'm just trying to keep up with, uh, you know, the stuff on my channel as much as possible. Oh, that blind fire hit him right in the dump. But, um, for those of you who don't know, um, me and Iceman started up a community channel. Uh, it's called The FPS Hub. Um, you can get to it in the description. I'm going to leave a link. Um, it's actually a really good community channel. It's coming along pretty well, even though we've only had it up for about a week, I think. And uh, it's pretty much for you guys who, you know, don't get very many views on your videos and want to get your work out there. Um, it, just because it's FPS doesn't mean that it's just first-person shooters. Um, it actually includes Gears of War. Um, he just needed a name for it and stuff, and I'm actually going to help him out a lot more in the like, upcoming days. Um, with that, and uh, I feel like this, this channel could grow a lot because there's a lot of good... Um, shooters coming out soon so I want to see your gameplays I want to also keep the the channel uh, like a large variety um, not just you know Call of Duty and Gears of War I want like you know all the new games coming out such as like you know uh, Bullet Storm even though it's not online but still it's like commentaries and stuff like that um, I'm considering like at first Alec just wanted to put montages on and stuff but I think we should we might do a top five um also I told him that commentary should be accepted and stuff like that so um you know that that channel is gonna go really good I think we're almost up to 500 subs already which is excellent uh, I want to thank you guys all who went and subbed to the channel uh there's actually about 10 montages up already also so as you can see you're staying pretty active with it even though alex done most of the work so far but uh, i promised him i would help him a little bit more so um other than that uh like i said i actually just took my friend's hd tv um for those of you who don't know i had an hd tv that i've used on call of duty and i would play gears on uh my standard tv so what I would do is just, you know, r like play Call of Duty in high def because most of you that play Call of Duty know that you have to be able to see across the map or you just get out outgunned the entire time. And since I didn't have a PVR, I couldn't record, you know, on actually on my TV. So what happened was, uh, you know, I, I had to record gears on my regular TV because I could just, you know, use theater for Call of Duty. Um, so what I decided to do is, uh, my friend from Connecticut, uh, you, you guys probably know Genesis, actually gave me his HD TV. Uh, it's 22 inch, um, and it actually doesn't have as much response lag than this other TV that I was talking about, and I actually threw my controller through it, because I got, sp I know I have an anger problem, whatever, um. You know, I, I mean, also it was old, is broken, you know, and I think it's still fixable, but so what I did is he let me take his HD TV because he got a new one, and uh, it's 22 inch uh, Venture, it's pretty nice, um, you know, good quality on it, not much response lag, because that was one of my biggest concerns with me moving to uh, HD, was actually, you know, having to deal with the, um, the response lag on the on the TV for those of you who don't know what that is that's basically like when you roll and you press A or something or anything you do in the game if it it's always gonna happen a little split second after like after you hit the buttons um, on HD TVs because uh, I don't want to get into how like TVs work and stuff but it basically shoots electrons at the TV and since these days these HD TVs are using so many pixels, it actually takes a little like a little bit of time. But um, I'm actually gonna get a uh, what do you call it? An HDMI cable because I've been told that it actually reduces response lag. Uh, I'm not completely sure. Don't quote me on that. But the composite cables that I've been using have just been terrible. Uh, I've been looking for my S video cables because uh, as most of you know, like my quality used to be pretty decent and. I've been doing the same thing. The only thing that's been different is the cords I've been using to the television. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to figure out how to get better quality for you guys since, you know, I, I just get bagged on my quality all the time. And uh, for some of you who just joined YouTube, I wish you could, you know, see what it was like back in 07 and 08 when you, and I just ate a boom shot. That's pretty funny. I don't know how I didn't die. But, um,. 
Yeah, the quality used to be so bad for YouTube, and you were only allowed a certain amount of, you know, megabytes. And it's just crazy to see how much people complain. Um, just, just about quality. I mean, it's not about the quality of the videos anymore. It's about, like, you know, just, like, I just, I don't understand it. Um, honestly, I'm just ranting about, you know, PVRs and stuff. But I was gonna, I actually don't have money for a PVR right now. But uh, I actually had it, kind of a good idea that might work out and benefit all of us. Uh, but I'm going to talk about that in a future video. But anyways, this commentary is coming to an end. I kind of went off on a rant. But um, six headshots. Um, my next commentary with Iceman should be coming out in about a week. Our dual commentary. So definitely watch out for that. And uh, keep following my videos. Subscribe to me. And if you could rate the video, you know, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, show a friend. I'd really appreciate that. Because uh, I'm trying to get, you know get my channel back up to what it used to be before Gears 3 comes out so you know hopefully hopefully I can blow up and get my second chance at uh, you know making money for my videos but uh, other than that guys uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later peace